So Ariana Grande is a super famous singer and actress, and she randomly licked a donut in a donut shop recently that she didn't buy. So it was like sitting on a tray, and she's standing there with some people, and she just licked the donut. Then afterwards, it gets weirder. She gets caught saying, I hate America. <laughs> it's, just, it's a super weird story. I don't even know how to feel about it because it's just weird. First of all, I don't know of anybody who does that, like randomly licks donuts. Uh, but second of all, why you would follow that up with I hate Americans and I hate America, I, I don't get it. Like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, I want to ask her. I want to talk to her. Like, just what was going on there? <laughs> Nobody really understands exactly why it unfolded the way it unfolded. But, of course, here comes Fox and Friends with their own genius theory. Teresa, how could someone who grows up in Florida, was a childhood star, is risen now, in a, now a pop star, actress, voiceover person, her life is great, walk into a donut shop, the donuts didn't come to her, and then comment about America, yet you grow up in America, have a totally different view. How does that happen? Okay, I'm, I don't know the, the problem, I don't know the cause of the problem, or I don't have a solution to remedy the problem. However, I can speculate, and hear me out on this, for the past six or seven years, and that's a good chunk of a millennial's adult lifetime, we've had a president who doesn't believe in American exceptionalism. He doesn't speak up for American values or the foundation that this country was built on. So can you blame millennials for their modicum of patriotism when for the majority of our adult lifetime, we haven't witnessed anything to make us think differently? They really blamed President Obama. They really blame President Obama. I'm amazed. And the thing is, it's like they're not even trying anymore to connect dots. They may as well have just shown the clip of Ariana doing what she did, and they come back and they just go, fucking Obama. Like, what is it, the Jenna Marbles thing? Thanks, Obama. Like, the transition was not even 30 seconds. It's like, something, something, she hates America. Obama hates America. Fuck Obama. This is Obama's fault. She licked a donut in a donut shop. <laughs> Randomly, nobody knows why, so I hate Americans, I hate America. How does this have anything to do with President Obama? Anything at all! And you know what the irony is? That I know, because I'm, I'm 27 years old, so I was born in 1988. I know from when I grew up that, now granted I was young and naive and whatnot during like the, the Clinton era, but I remember... Basically, by and large, if you don't get too much into the nuance and the details, and you don't when you're young, thinking, okay, peace and prosperity. That's what we have. That's what this is. This era now is known for peace and prosperity. And I kind of thought that war was like a thing of the past. Like, it didn't exist anymore. Like, oh, look at how crazy those people were in the 1940s with World War uh, II. How weird. That would never happen today. And then, uh, when did everything go to shit? Well, of course, 9-11 happened. But then Bush took us to Afghanistan and took us to Iraq and was invading everybody's grandma's house. And I remember thinking during the Bush administration, with the economy collapsing... Okay, and with our disastrous wars, I remember thinking, oh man, it, it felt much better to be an American back during the Clinton years than it does right now. Like, now we got a lot of shit to fucking correct. So if anything, their theory, in, at, from my perspective, growing up as a millennial, is backwards. And I know other people have the same experience as me who are about my age, where they say, yeah, I remember it was a simpler time, partly because we were younger, but also partly because the country was in a better place during the Clinton years. When Bush came along, yeah, we had this worse feeling about the country we lived in. We were like, oh, fuck, we got to fix this. And oh, my God, this idiot keeps talking. Stop talking, Bush. You're just embarrassing us around the world. So their theory's backwards. If anything, it's the opposite. It's not Obama getting elected that made everybody feel like, you, you know, oh, we hate America. It would be, oh, thank God we've moved away from Bush and we got a guy who could put together fucking sentences and it's a historic moment because the first black president, now we're proud again. Okay? But classic Fox News. Doesn't matter what the issue is. A fucking pop star licking a donut. Thanks, Obama. And I'd be lying to you guys. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I had to bring this up. I could not bring it up. I was slightly turned on by Ariana licking the donut. I'm ashamed by it as well. I'd be lying to you if I didn't mention it. And I love somebody's response to me on Twitter was great. They were like, <laughs> looked up her age. I asked if it was creepy. Somebody looked up her age and they're like, no, it's not creepy. She's old enough. 
not gonna lie, I also immediately went to look up her age when I saw her do the thing, and I was like, that's kind of hot. I was like, oh, please, no, tell me. God, no. Let me look it up. She was 22. I'm like, oh, thank God.